as strong as it ever was for Australian surfing legend Tom Carroll. Tomorrow, we'll head to Hawaii for the famed Quicksilver in memory of Eddie Aikau, a contest that only takes place when the surf is bigger than 20 feet. But before he tames the Waimea Bay monsters, he found time to chat to Ken Sutcliffe. Thanks, Wendy. While they say all oh, surfers never retire, they should fade away, but, but not Tommy Carroll. 49 years of age, and you're going back chasing 60-foot-plus waves, big wave contest in Hawaii. Why? Because uh, I love it, you know, and I've lived for it uh, pretty much all my life. Ever since I got dragged down to the currents at Newport Beach, and my father had to sort of pull me out, I didn't know where I was with it. I just love the idea of being in the power of the ocean. But you got hurt last year. I got, I got hurt, yeah, whilst I was practicing, and that was a very humbling experience, and it's humbling today. I got hit by um, a load of wild water uh, during practice session the day before the event was run. It was a massive day, I uh, had a lot of power in the ocean, and uh, my foot came off the, uh, the ankle, um, just at the right base of the day. It wasn't pretty. And um, now I'm you know, really facing those fears when I go back over to practice tomorrow. There is not enough money in the world to do this just for, for money. There's, there's got to be something else in it. What, what, what's in it for Tommy Carroll, 49 years of age, when you're risking life and limb? I don't know. It's something about the ocean for me. It's, uh, it's always given me such a, a great connection, you know, with nature and, and the power. Um, it's always going to drag me back. It's beyond, uh, you know, money and, and, and all that stuff. It's, uh, and then talk to any of the guys that are out there. Uh, or even the people who just like to enjoy a moment surfing in the morning or joining out with the ocean in the morning. She's a very, very powerful place and very healing. So even though sometimes she takes a little away, she gives me a hell of a lot. Well, you're, you're, you're a three-time world champion. Twice world champion. Yeah. Um, well, I'll give you, I just gave you another yeah, title. Right. I just I gave you another title. Um, I mean, how long do you keep going for? Is this just that you're going to do it next year, year after? Or is it, well, you just come out of a sort of semi-retirement, I guess, and, and just have a crack every now and again just to show that the, the adrenaline still pumps and you're still feeling all the all the youth uh, things that you felt all those years ago. Well, yeah, it sort of drags, well, it pulls that stuff out of me. It keeps me healthy. And that's one thing about this event. It's an invitational event. It's a, it's an, it's a great honour for me to be invited into this event. Tell me, what's it like to sit on top of the biggest waves in the world and look down? Be absolutely truthful. No fear? What, what? what? goes through your mind. Give the, give the average car person out there a bit of an idea of what is going through your head when you're t on top of the mountain. Well, it's just uh, it's an all-encompassing feeling. This whole body's full of adrenaline and uh, you look down? we're looking down. Look at it, my, my awareness at that point is just so bright now. You know, like I can't express that any other way. That I'm just completely present at that moment. And I'm feeling everything. It's like I'm feeling all the air around me. I'm feeling the water underneath me. I'm feeling the board. And, I, and I'm aiming that board. And I'm using every little bit of um, memory of surfing in my whole life. And when you finish the ride and you're in one piece, how religious are you? <laughs> oh, my God, I tell you. Very, very thankful. Very, very thankful. Yeah, I, I don't know who to thank at that point, but it's, uh, it's a lot bigger than me. Have a good one. <laughs> Thanks, Ken.